let's get started. I just recently bought the Martha Stewart score pad, which I really like, but any device, any scoring device will do for, for this project. Okay, I really like the Martha Stewart recommended by, made by Momo. This triangular hooky, do hickey thing, I have no idea. And it comes with like a little um, bone folder, but I don't know what that triangle thing is, is for. What you're going to do is start off with an 8 by 12 piece of paper. I decided to use a decorative piece of paper that had this motif. Um, I, I I think it's used more for you know scrapbookers, but I think it'd make a, a great box, and it did. And I used the the cues from the flowers to uh, make my card, which was great. Um, it was really easy for me to design the cards, and I wanted the cards to be simple. And they matched up perfectly with my paper. So once again, an eight by twelve. So you start up with a twelve by twelve, cut it down to an 8 by 12. Then you're going to score all the way around, I've done this already, all the way around your paper at one inch. So all four sides at one inch. Then in the center at five and a half and at six and a half. Okay? Then you will go ahead and fold your lines and get nice creases just like I've done here. Then on the long sides, you're going to take your scissor and cut those creases up until the intersection of where the, the um, score lines intersect. Okay, don't go past that. So just cut those slits on all, on the two sides, the two long sides. So four on one side and then turn it around four on the other side. Okay, can you see that? Hopefully you can see that. I'm hoping to improve on my video making, guys, so bear with me. I'm a crafter, not a videographer, but little by little I think they're getting better. And I kind of like this narration type thing. All right, so everything's cut and scored. Now the next thing I'm going to do is take this to my Cricut because what I added is the window. Um, so that you could see the cards when the card when the box was closed. So let's go to my Cricut machine. I'm loaded the paper onto my mat, okay? And notice that the arrow, I'm using the arrow. And I've put a little dot, okay, where I want the center point of my window to be. Then I've also I've taken my gypsy and I've positioned my image right where that dot would be, which if you use your grid lines, okay, you'll see that they intersect at a point. You would use, I'm telling you that, it, you know, match up your arrow so everything's in the right position. So there's your dot, okay, and mine intersected right at the four inch mark and the three inch mark using the grid on your mat then I was able to take my gypsy and make sure that it intersected exactly at the three inch mark and the four inch mark making sure that ensured me that when the machine goes to cut it's gonna cut exactly where I want it so it's kind of a double double way now if you don't have a gypsy you can also do this by putting a small dot where you want the gypsy to cut the center point use your uh, center point feature put your blade right over that dot and go ahead and cut. In this case I use my gypsy since I just got it so I'm using it for just about everything and I love it. Okay and I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it. Now I stopped it because my paper wasn't uh, adhered perfectly. Sometimes that happens. My mat is gonna need some re, re gluing. So not a problem. Um, what I what I do here is I just unload my mat and then I just press it down and start over again. So you know mistakes happen and they happen on camera, they happen off camera. So I thought I would show that. Okay, so I'm getting ready to cut, and I've I've also set the machine to cut out twice because this is a little thicker cardstock. So that way my cut is nice and clean and it goes all the way through. Okay. Exactly how I wanted it. 
I had a little trouble getting the paper off the corner. Sometimes the glue is really hard right around the edges there. So ta-da, there's my hole and exactly where I want it. This is clear acetate sheets, just buy them at Walmart. Um, what I'm going to do is cut it down to about four, you know, depending on the size of your hole, but in my case it was uh, four by six. Then we're going to go to my craft table and I'll show you the rest of the project. Cut down the acetate and I'm putting using my ATG and just putting a little bit of uh, tape down. It's a curvy shape, so that's why you see me curving my, my tape. Place your acetate and there you have it. Now when I go to start putting my box together I noticed that my acetate was still a little bit too big so I just trimmed it down. Alright and I'm gonna apologize that I realized later that my hands were precisely in, in front of what I was trying to show you. So once again go to Made by Momo's blog www www.madebymomo.blogspot.com, I believe. You can probably do a search and find her too. She does great videos, and I have to thank her for doing this particular video because this is how I learned how to do it. And uh, that's why I love blogging and I love searching blogs. It's a little addictive. I got to make sure I don't spend too much time on the computer. But what I'm doing is using my Scotch Quick, quick Dry and going ahead and adhering the the corners there and uh, I liked using the quick dry because it quick dried and have to stand there or pinch it for a while and put it all together I'm having a little trouble with my quick dry glue but there it is it was put all together